Hello everyone, I'm Dan Momokan. I'm the Chief Brewing Hooligan over here at Summit Brewing Company in sunny St. Paul. And we've had a couple of tweets roll into the brewery recently and I wanted to kind of read them off to you and, uh, and, and, and really see how we'd like to respond. EPA tastes like bug spray. I've always really enjoyed At Summit Beer EPA and others, especially Slugfest Juicy. Is it just me or does EPA have a very slight is that bug spray in their taste? Well, the question I would have is, how much bug spray are you actually drinking? I'm still pissy that you discontinued my Bach. Well, this is probably my wife sending in a text because she's probably the biggest fan of my Bach out there. But as I have told her, I'm gonna tell everyone else, we still make my Bach. All of our beers are actually my Bach. We just package them in different cans and bottles, but it's actually just my box across the board. You don't tell anybody, no phone call, nothing. I've only been waiting all of my life for this moment. And there's a wonderful photo of a 12 pack of oatmeal stout. So we've told an awful lot of people that we've been producing this beer for a wee while now. We've done our best to get the word out. My guess is all of you folks have been too busy enjoying the beer to actually take notice of all of the information we've sent out telling people that the beer is actually available out in the trade. Perhaps at Summit Beer should brew some fair trade bacon Scottish ale. Well, we have made a Scottish ale in the past. We did actually throw some bacon in there, but I'm really embarrassed to tell you it was not fair trade. Yes, coach style with lime. This will sound weird, but when I was 19, I tried Miller Chill. The lime re really reminds me of that, but in a good way. Um, yes, it is weird. It sounds very, very weird. But God bless you for having the, the chutzpah and the, and the bravery to try Miller Chill in the first place, because it's a truly disgusting beer. But I'd appreciate it if you brought back Horizon Red IPA out of retirement. Also, Frostline Rye, the untrained number three Rye IPA, and maybe True Brit. Saw someone else say this, you could call it the flashback 12 pack. I miss so many great retired beers. And you know what? You're spot on. I really miss so many retired beers as well, but I hate to tell you that none of these beers, especially Horizon Red IPA, will ever come back. 